<laughs> all right what's popping and doffing everybody thank you for popping through another future troy video this time you know how i'm that pro clubs guru you feel me always playing that pro clubs of viewers today i have the best center mid build for you i didn't want to come out with this video too early because i did want to try out almost like all the builds different heights all types of stuff everyone has been telling me different things i do pro clubs with viewers so people from all over come all over the world come and they really just like say what what they think the best build is what, what they use I, I usually ask around a lot so this build for me for my center mid i feel like this is one of the best builds you could possibly have very very balanced across the board I'm gonna make a striker, a cam, a left wing, right back, and center back, probably CDM build as well. But this is like, for your 4-4-2, like this is like the best box to box build you can get, you feel me? So let me run down the stats for you, show you how to do the build, and then we go end this video. All right, thank you guys so, so much again. Make sure to smash a like button. If you use this build, if you're going to use this build, there's some probably people have already posted videos of this build probably because they they know it's it's the best as well so i just want to show you guys as well popping through here okay so first we're going to go over the passing because that's probably the most important thing that this build has so the passing is your long pass is going to be 92 your short pass is going to be 91 very very solid and your curve is going to be 86 your vision is going to be 84 your cross is going to be 82 very very solid you're really not going to use your cross crossing as much especially if you're playing in the 442 if you're like a winger you'll probably want to up your crossing but this is not a winger build this is for that box to box center mid build then you also have your dribbling high because you're, you're going to be in a midfield that's usually when it's the tightest usually when people are around you depending on how the other team is playing right so my dribbling i have here is at 92 hopefully you guys can see it there's no really reason to have any skill moves higher than three you i, I guess you can have four if you want to do your stop turns you know whatever you want to do i don't think there's a real reason to have so much skill moves ball control is also at a 91 because you need control when you're in the midfield your attacking position is 83 you don't need that great of attacking positioning your balance you want to have it pretty good because remember you're in the midfield so there's going to be a, a lot of congestion you, you want to be able to be strong on the ball be able to pass the ball be able to dribble the ball agility is also 84 then we get to your defending now this is what's important about this build it has passing it has dribbling and it also has a, a little bit of defending because you have to be able to intercept that's a big thing and your stand tackles are also big you probably don't want to slide so much as a center mid because you'll give up a lot of space so interceptions here is going to be at 88 defensive awareness at 75 stand tackle at 84 and slide tackle at 76 all really solid stats right your physical you also want to be pretty good as well jumping and stamina is a big thing you're gonna try to win headers you might be um like on corners you, you don't know the build is not that tall but they can win corners depending on where where you are they can win headers depending on um where they are in the midfield and what kind of balls are being played so the jumping is 92 and the stamina is 91 remember you're going to be up and down the pitch a lot and you need to be able to maintain yourself strength is 75 reactions are 86 which is big you're in the midfield you need to have high reactions and aggression is 75 i wish your aggression could be a little more more, although i don't exactly know how to make it more you know without changing the base of the build and the pace you'll see we're at 84 and 85 i don't up the pace a lot for the, this build but now we're, we're gonna run into exactly how to make it so we'll pop in so you see i have all my builds there that i'm trying out i actually have two accounts as well so I've been trying th them on both. So you'll see right here, I've named it Fries. I have a standard center milled CM position. The height is gonna be 5'8", the weight is gonna be 169, and the preferred foot is right. Now, there are a lot of builds, the cam build, the fullback build, 
sometimes even your short striker build where 99 weight is probably the best thing to go but because you want to have that physical strength you you want to be bigger on, on the ball you, you don't want to be so weak you don't need to be so like turning super quick you really need to be able to challenge well and win against the people playing in a midfield and be able to pass it with strength that's why i chose 169 pounds i feel like that's the best weight to go with you could change it a little bit i've heard 99 also works um if you want a taller more hullet build you could may make yourself taller but this is a good height also for you to not use a whole bunch of pace because as you pull down um i i mean wait as you pull down your sorry as you raise your height your pace lowers so so now we get into it so physical i pretty much have it all except for the solid player. I believe that having the second wind is big. You're a box to box. You're gonna be moving more than anybody else on the pitch. I think you need to have it all the way down to second wind and then strength advanced and then also the jumping focus as well. Then we get to the defending. I have the interceptions advanced focus all the way there. I think that that's very important. I'm not a big slide tackler. So personally, I would have taken all of this off and tried to make, you know, put them somewhere else, but you needed these two for slide tackling, so that's that, and I took these two off. If you slide tackle a lot, you might wanna take these, what, four points and put them there and may maybe take them off something else. It depends on your play style with that. So then we get to the dribbling and you see I pretty much have it all the way there. I have the agility specialty balance there. I have this balance one off and then you see I have the skill moves here and the flare here off I don't feel like it's necessary. I would rather put those skill points somewhere else, but I do want my ball control up I do want my dribbling up as well and that gets me to 92 dribbling and 91 ball control Which I feel like are very high good stats then we get to passing. Now this is where you could possibly change things up. I do not feel like I'm going to be crossing a lot. I do not feel like that this is needed. This is needed for a wing build, maybe a fullback build, but I don't even really have this on my fullback build because I'm a defensive fullback. That's, that's how I play normally. And I think I actually might be playing competitive pro clubs fullback instead of cam because that's what, what I used to play or center mid. So we'll see. I love the midfield, but I'm also pretty good at fullback. So, you know, I have the left chart all the way filled out for passing. That gets us to not 92 long pass. 91 short pass 86 curve and makes our crossing not as high so that then we get to shooting absolutely nothing here don't be a thirst neck and start to fill out stuff for your shooting this is honestly enough this the, these stats you see on, on the right i don't know if you guys can see i'm gonna have to duck my head feel me but the finishing it's low but it's fine right the heading is really not that great but i'm not that tall this build i'm not gonna be heading that crazy in the box you could have a taller build you know and have your heading up and but you then you have to take s stuff from somewhere else maybe pace right so i don't think that this is necessary at all i feel like long shots being 84 that's fine May maybe you'll take some long shots okay now we go to the pace now pace this is really up to you and how you want to play this build to be honest it is um this can be changed at any time i could take off this and take off that and i have 81 acceleration 84 sprint feet sprint speed i have 12 points somewhere else because you know pace is expensive but for me sometimes i just like to be faster you know I feel like I want more acceleration and my sprint speed is good. It depends on what you guys want for this. Remember, change it up, do it to what you want and obviously no goalkeeping. So do this build up to what you want. It plays really well in game. I play with this all the time in, in game, works so, so well. This is the 58169 center mid build. Thank you guys so, so much for popping on through. 
another future Troy video. There will be a bunch of more of these build videos coming up. I'm gonna do striker, cam, full back, center back. Do all the ones for you guys. There's also a center forward cam build that you guys will have to also know, but don't always use that because the cam build is also pretty solid as well. So that is coming from me. I've played, this is one account. I played 111 matches on this account. I have another account. I've played probably over 200. If I were to have only one account, I might be in like the top 100 or 200 pro clubs players, but I play on two accounts because of pro clubs with viewers. Thank you guys so, so much for popping through another video. You guys are popping. Thank you guys so much for being in the video. I'll see you guys later. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? Do you feel me? <laughs>